Hi guys, welcome back to the EC Physio YouTube channel. Today's bike fit video surrounds adjusting saddle fore and aft. Upon initial assessment, we learned that this cyclist had a progressive neurological condition that affected his lower limbs. He's a champ for keeping active and staying healthy on his bike. We can see his unique gait pattern here, but the main thing about his body that will affect his bike fit the most is his stiff and weak ankles. We'll go into this further later on. Looking at him initially, his saddle is set up a bit too high, shown by how he's reaching downwards with each pedal stroke. From the side view, he's overreaching to the handlebars, shown by how he prefers to ride with his hands on the tops of the handlebars instead of the hoods. The best place for your hands 80 to 90% of the time is on the hoods, which is a lot more safe since it provides immediate control of the braking and shifting of the bike. If he places his hands on the hoods, his shoulder angle is open, his elbows are locked out, and his shoulders are shrugged. The first adjustment made to his bike fit was to address his stiff and weak ankles. By moving the cleat all the way to the back of the shoe, it provides a much more stable platform for his ankles. If you picture where your cleat position is as a fulcrum point, the leverage is much greater when the cleat sits more forwards on the shoe. The calf muscles would need to be recruited to a much greater degree in that instance to stabilize the ankle joint. If the cleat is closer to the middle of the foot, the ankle becomes a lot more stable as a shorter lever point creates less recruitment from the calves. Next is setting up saddle fore and aft, which is a very confusing topic. There are many schools of thought, with the most common one being having your knee over the pedals. But I think this is just a starting point for setting up saddle fore and aft. Setting up fore and aft correctly will create much more balance on the bike. If your body weight is balanced front to back on the bike, there will be less pressure on your hands and your core will not need to work as hard to stabilize. Even breathing will become easier as your trunk will be more relaxed. The end result is more of your energy being used to propel you forwards instead of trying to stabilize you on the bike. A great test I like to use to look at saddle fore and aft is the patented and copyrighted EC Physio no hands test. If a cyclist on a trainer is riding at an output of about 80% of their max effort, they should be able to take their hands off their preferred riding position and hold themselves up without extreme effort or without the urge to fall forwards. Once in the correct fore and aft position, you can notice how much easier it is to maintain your cycling position and not end up with numb hands. So let's take a look at this cyclist pre and post fitting. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about bike fit or would like to schedule an appointment, please get in touch.